yeah, it was, it was a while. <laughs> kind of got the wheels spinning a little bit, you know, but I thought that's kind of cool. That was Kim Nuxall recalling his reaction after I broke the news to him on the phone today that his dad no longer holds the title of youngest player to ever take the field in Major League Baseball history. The old left-hander earned that designation when he took the mound on June 10th, 1944 at just 15 years old. Well, in May, Major League Baseball, you'll recall, announced that it would recognize statistics and records from the Negro Leagues, which altered quite a few things. Among them, one of Joe Nuxall's most notable accomplishments as a player. In 1937, another 15-year-old made his debut, a catcher by the name of Roy Campanella. The eventual Hall of Famer took the field with the Washington, D.C. elite Giants of the Negro National League, 101 days younger than Nuxall was when he made his debut. Now, while Kim Nuxall was surprised by the news, who better to take the title from his dad, he says, than someone as revered as Roy Campanella. I, I look at it as they're sharing a, sharing a record, dad being the youngest pitcher, Roy the youngest catcher. But what's neat about it to me is dad played with Roy and thought, thought so much of him, respected him as a, as certainly as a player, but uh, you know, as a human being, Roy was an unbelievable person. Uh, one of my most cherished bits that, that dad held on to was a letter from Roy. I guess dad had participated in a baseball camp uh, that Roy had, and he sent this just beautifully written um, uh, letter and signed it, you know, Roy Campanella, and it's like, wow, yeah. So here we are with this. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Now, another interesting twist to this story. The Monday after Joe Nuxall made his major league debut, he was sent to the minors to play with the Birmingham Barons in Alabama at the iconic Rickwood Field. Now, when the Barons were on the road, the Birmingham Black Barons of the Negro League would play at the ballpark. Now, Kim tells me his dad didn't travel with the Barons when they went out of town, so he would frequently visit Rickwood during that time to watch the Black Barons play. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.